this video, we will show you how to properly use a volumetric pipette. If you are using a pipette filler, take your volumetric pipette and place the pipette filler on top. Then place the pipette into the solution. Turn the wheel to draw liquid up into the pipette, making sure that the level of the liquid is above the line marked on the pipette. Now you need to remove the pipette filler, so place the pipette against the bottom of the container. Get your index finger ready, remove the pipette filler, and place your index finger over the top of the pipette. Now we will show you how to do the same thing using a pipette bulb. Place your pipette into the solution, squeeze the bulb, and place it over the pipette. Release the bulb to fill the pipette. You will want to make sure again that the liquid is above the line marking on the volumetric pipette before you remove the bulb and place your index finger over the top of the pipette. If the liquid goes below the line, simply squeeze the pipette bulb again, place it over your pipette, and resume filling. Remove the bulb, place your index finger over the top of the pipette. Now you will want to wipe the outside of the pipette to remove any extra solution that got on it and slowly rotate the pipette to make sure that the liquid is at the line marked on the pipette. The meniscus should be right at the line. When the meniscus reaches the line marked on the pipette, tighten your fingers so you don't lose any liquid. Then you hold your pipette upright so that it drains easily and hold the tip against the wall of your container so that the liquid flows out easily. Allow the liquid to flow out using gravity. Do not use any bulbs at this stage. Once the pipette has drained, make sure that you have some liquid left in the tip. This is the correct way to empty the pipette.